I know, Dave, you want to save Raw till the end, but dude, dude, we got to talk about this show. Okay. We you are we are so far into WCW territory at this point. This is oh, yeah. so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he, the, here's the deal. Um, I mean, there's a lot to this show. I mean, the reality is, is they were going to do probably the lowest number ever. Because look at the last two weeks. I'm pretty sure they're still going to. I was ready to quit on that show repeatedly. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I, I I thought that there's so much craziness that people would be would probably you know just go like what's happening next. But we'll see. I mean it. Tomorrow. Will, I mean, honestly, tomorrow doesn't mean anything if it does good. I mean, if it does terrible, I guess it tells you that people probably tuned out. If it does good, it doesn't necessarily mean it was good it just means that it was weird enough that people stuck through and and it was something different and you know they had to try something different i mean they they've been under the gun um ever that that investors call and even before the investors call they knew they knew going in because they had a a, a, a you know the um they had a meeting you know the writing team and vince had a meeting on wednesday before the investment call so it's before vince got grilled he was. He already had the meeting, and um, the only the only thing that they basically uh, came up with or or agreed on was um, Shane McMahon would come in and do the fight thing, and Randy Orton and Ric Flair would do an angle, which I guess is for next week's show because it didn't happen tonight, and that was it. And then um, you know they had over and over. Today was complete chaos um, to the point that. You know, a lot of guys that usually don't see things um, as being bad kind of did because they could really see just how, you know, this this is where we're at. Uh, this is what tonight's show really was is. OK, so the whole thing is, is that, you know, they were they were just going to throw a whole bunch of stuff against the wall and hope something sticks. I mean, that's really where we're at right now. Um and that's what tonight's show was, a whole bunch of stuff thrown against the wall and hoping maybe we're going to find something that, that's a hit. And I don't know. Um, this dude doesn't even know what he's doing anymore. It's sad. Like, I mean, come on. Yeah, the, the very yeah, no, first they, thing they, they announced they, they, today is the return of Shane McMahon. I mean, we're right back to the same problem. Let's go back to something from the late 90s, early 2000s. Let's bring back Shane McMahon. Let's redo everyone's doing it. Brawl for All. Everyone's, everyone's No, no, Dave, there's a difference. AEW is bringing back people from the past who are working as managers. Like, we have nobody being elevated on this show. This has been a problem forever. Oh, no shit. I mean, except for Drew McIntyre, he's the only one. But but it's, you know, all of those guys that were projects, I mean, now, okay, I mean, Dominic Mysterio is like, you know, but all the guys that were projects, they're not even on the show anymore. Other Well, Paul Cruz was on the show, you know, finally, thank God, thank uh, good for him. I'm glad, you know, because, you know, I mean, he was out with health issues. So, um, but yeah. And I mean, he won, but it was just, I don't know. I mean, it, I, I guess it's better than losing. You know, that's the only thing I could say about it. He, he won and he got the title. But yeah, no, everything on the show is built around older guys for the most part. And, um, you know, yeah, bringing back, you know, when, 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 we're, when you're in trouble and you're bringing back Shane McMahon, I mean, that's my, my first reaction. It's like, you know, it might get a rating for one week. The last time Shane came back, and granted, he'd been gone for years and years, but the last time he came back, you know, it, it was a gigantic rating. Um, I don't expect it to be gigantic, but um, even if it is, I mean, we already know that that this stuff, I mean, Shane McMahon was uh, all over SmackDown when the numbers were, were not doing well. I mean, better than now, but, you know, not doing well at the time. So we already know that this is not an answer. And to me, again, got to be building for the future. Um, this is like, again, somebody wrote this. I mean, and it's not the first time, but I mean, I, one of the analysts, you know, basically said that it's been a succession of, um, you know, putting Band-Aids on. You know what I mean? You know, and it's like a Band-Aid on a cancer, you know, which, did, which actually was a Zane Breslov line about when WCW was dying and he goes like we're putting band-aids on cancer and I mean that's that's where this is going you know it's like you know, the only thing that's going to really turn this thing around is a long-term plan and not worrying about the ratings now and building around a whole new group of people well you got to get rid of Vince 
can't have a long term plan with Vince. Oh, it's know. impossible. I know it's impossible. I know it's impossible because you're you're you know everyone's writing for him. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, I you know the rating might be really good tomorrow. I mean, well, it won't be really good. It may not be horrible, or it may be horrible. I don't know. If it's horrible, then then they got a lot of trouble because then they. Again, this was the third straight week of a unique tr attempt at hot shot for a one-week rating, and the hot shot for a one-week rating thing is is not going to do you any good. I mean, you need to be building stuff uh, for the future, and you know it's it's not there. That's what, what can I, what can I say? I was two and a half hours in. I was dying. I was like, "Is this show over yet?" And then Seth comes out and he's rambling on, and I'm thinking, "Is there a main event on this show?" I have no idea what the main event of this show is. And, like, there wasn't one was the answer. There, there really so wasn't Back to one. the no. Fight Club. But, I mean, can you imagine a well, three-hour show and they don't tell you, they don't have a main event. They never tell you what's going to be at the end of the show. They well, never whole, told you that Seth was going to come out. They never told you that Joe was going to tease. They never told you anything. Well, they they did, just did, did, hope you keep watching. Well, the whole thing was is they counted on Shane McMahon and the Fight Club being the draw to keep you. And after one segment, I mean, it was it was really crappy, but was it unique enough for the first time that it'll keep you watching? I don't know the answer. We'll know that tomorrow. But long term, is this thing going to, you know, this Fight Club thing's pretty bad. Is it, is it going to be like the turnaround? And it's like, it's not. No. So so it's just, you know, it's like a, a hot shot. I mean, I, it, I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't good. So they, they, I mean, look, they they they're trying to do something with Baba Tunde as whatever his name is, and um, you know, so you know, and the, uh, they had the giant guy as a bodyguard. I mean, there there there's guys that are around. There are new guys that are around that are freaking giants, but we'll see. Um, I wasn't. Uh, you know, I mean, all day, all morning, it was already, you know, just the, just the whole stories of the chaos and everything. And they did they did introduce a new faction. You know, the the guys that tried to uh, blow out the generator. The guys who threw Molotov cocktails at a generator. Like, they, they actually on social media announced a new faction will be debuting tonight. That's what they gave us was some dudes dressed like all of the other ninjas, by the way. I mean, it may just be the ninjas for all I know. Throw some cocktails at this thing. It lights on fire. It was a in a three hour show. It was a one minute segment at most. It's like and that's all, your new faction debuting. Wow, I can't wait for next week. Well, the other thing too is all of those like flickering outs of the mic and the um, made the, the show lights. worse. I know it. it. It made the show look so Mickey Mouse, and then you do the storyline with it. It's like that's the storyline for like all of this stuff. You know, it's like but look, they tried. They tried to, no, to, to, the show was so sad. It was like just a, a crazy guy coming up with stupid ideas. He doesn't know what wrestling is anymore. He's just desperate for anything. A bunch of guys right. in, in black outfits throwing Molotov cocktails. I mean, come on. What is this? He's, he's a fight he's, club. Like I said, he's throwing stuff against the wall, hoping that something's going to stick. It's exactly like WCW was from, from mid-1998 on. And, I, you know, it's, it's you know, it's... That's that's what it is. They're lost. Um, hopefully they find. Look, SmackDown on Friday was pretty good, but hopefully they find themselves. Uh, this is not it. You know, even if again they may go in there and, like I said, it it may get enough curiosity and Shane McMahon being back may do something with the number, but it may not. I mean, they have hot shotted the last two weeks to to you know and done two of the three lowest numbers in the history of the show. So you know, again, like they were going to do a terrible number this week. So. They had to try something. Um, but if I was an investor, I would be really scared because, you know, it's not, you know, uh, I didn't feel like this is the beginning of a turnaround. I felt that this is the beginning of being completely out of touch with the audience. There's nobody that thought that this was the beginning of a turnaround. Nobody on the planet. The show was so bad. Well, it wasn't all bad, but but the overall the it was ninety five percent bad. The Drew McIntyre I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even promo. say that. The, the overriding thing was absolutely bad, but there were there was you know the little bit of wrestling that was there was okay. Uh, some of it the was two bad. minute matches in between four talking segments. There was so much talking. Drew McIntyre. On Drew McIntyre's segment was good. The um, Drew McIntyre cut a great promo. That's the only thing on this show. 
Um, yeah, the uh, the um, Montez Ford thing was really stupid. Stupid beyond belief. Really stupid. Yeah, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Just like Dave's connection is bad. We're gonna get him on the phone.